Hey, what's up everybody? This is Bobby A. And today I want to share with you a tip that I just picked up this week after just a little bit of self-discovery with my practice pad. Now, I've been studying lately the different types of grips that we use when we play the drums. We have the German grip, the American grip, and the French grip. Okay, let me show you what that looks like first like this. German grip, we have a right angle. And we put the stick like that. Sort of like a 90 degree, okay? American grip is like more of like a 45 degree angle. Kind of bring it in a little bit. And French grip is where the sticks are parallel, okay? What does that look like on the, on the pad here? Okay, we have German, American, and French. When you do French, thumbs are up, okay? When you do the other two, the knuckles are up, and don't forget to keep these fingers nice and loose, okay? Why I'm explaining this to you is there's so many different practice pads out there, but a very common designed one is one that have the edges, okay? Now this particular pad is a dodecagon, which means it has 12 sides, okay? And what I did is I went ahead and I numbered them, starting at one, and I kind of went clockwise. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 sides. I was playing this pad last week, and I've been playing drums for over 30 years on pads like this, and just because my mind was thinking about the different grips, I always wondered why did they design a pad like this? I don't know if this was by design, but it dawned on me that if you take each of these sides, you can figure out exactly where to place your hands when you're doing the three grip types. So for example, you can see over here where I labeled it five and G, and then the eight and G, I'm sorry, the nine and G, okay? That's where you would place your sticks on these two sides to get your German grip. And then if you come into the next two sides, which are the six and the eight, okay? You got your American. And then both sticks placed right in the middle at the seven gives you your French grip. So let me just demonstrate it here a little bit, okay? So here we go, we have Okay, this position right here is German, okay? Okay, bring it in a little bit more and you have the American. In the center, sticks parallel, thumbs up. That's your French grip. All three of these grips are something we use on the kit and I suggest that you familiarize yourself with them and experiment with different practice pads as well. Hey, you never know where discovery is going to come from, like mine just did with this pad. Okay, anybody's interested in learning more about this kind of stuff, give me a call or check out my website, bobbyadrums.com. I am accepting students and I do virtual lessons. So, take care. I hope you enjoyed that tip. It was fun for me to discover and I hope it's something that you will use in your drumming. Take care now.